Okay, so I know that there are a lot of people that are wondering why it seems like believers in God are always trying to like tell other people about it. It's like, why not just keep it to yourself, right? I've gotten that a lot since I started doing these videos. It's like, China, we get it. You believe in God. If you believe, just believe. And then like, you don't have to make others believe too. But I think there's a little bit of confusion and I am going to hopefully clear it up for you today as to why I do it and why I make these videos. This analogy that I'm gonna use today is one that my dad told myself and my family a long time ago and it always stuck with me. Okay, so we're gonna call it Michael McLean's snake in the yard analogy, okay? So say we're best friends. You come over to my house and we chilling, right? We watching movies, we listening to music, and I got like art stuff spread out. So we drawing and painting and stuff. And then I remember, oh shoot, I forgot to take my dog out. Just stay here, let me take him in the backyard. I'll be right back. You're like, okay, cool. I leave you in the room painting. I take my dog downstairs and I unlock the door. I'm like, come on Cujo. And right when I'm walking out, what do I see? <gasps> I see a snake in the yard. So I grab my dog, rush back inside, close, lock the door. And then I go back upstairs to my room where I left you. I see that you've gotten up and you're about to leave the room. And I'm like, wait, where are you going? And you're like, oh, I just, I wanted to go to the backyard too, get some fresh air from these paint fumes. And I said, okay. I'll see you when you get back. So you go downstairs, you open the door, you head out there to get some fresh air and oh, a snake bites you. So you throw it off of you and you run back in the house and you close the door and you lock it, you run back upstairs to my room and you starting to limp at this point, your leg is hurting. And you're like, China, China, I just got bit. There's a snake in the yard. And I say, oh yeah, I know. I saw it when I was going to take my dog out. What would your next statement be? China, why didn't you tell me? You saw me heading in that direction. I told you I was going in the backyard. Why didn't you tell me there was a snake back there? And I said, I don't know. I, I wasn't trying to force what I knew on you. So I just thought that you should learn for yourself as we all should, you know, cause I love you. So I was trying to give you that freedom. Does that make any sense? You wouldn't think that I actually loved you if I knew there was a snake in the yard. You told me, oh, I'm about to go to the backyard. And I just let you wander on back there without warning you of the danger. Now, if you told me, oh, I'm going to the backyard to get some air. And I said, oh, no, 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 don't go back there. I just saw a snake back there. Would giving you that information be forcing something down your throat? Forcing my beliefs on you? No, it's showing you that I love you and I care about what happens to you. I do videos talking about God to warn you about the snake in the yard. That's the point. I was headed in the backyard. By the grace of God, I got away from the snake before it bit me. Now I see others heading towards the backyard. I know there's a snake back there. And so I'm just warning you and letting you know, yo, there is danger in that direction. And now you have a choice to make. It's as simple as that. You can either choose to be like, oh, heard you. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go back. <laughs> the way I came. Or you're gonna choose to be like, China, I don't believe you. I don't believe you. I'm gonna go back there anyway, excuse me. Now notice, nowhere in my analogy, or Michael McLean's analogy, did I say that I was gonna force you in the room and I was gonna forcefully keep you from going in the backyard. That would be forcing something down your throat. I never said that, you your own person. You got free will. If you want to go in the backyard after I've told you that there's a snake back there, do your thing. You can go. You got to make your own decisions. But just warning you of the dangers. See, because I've been through certain things in my life, especially in the industry that I work in. So I know that God is real. And people can tell you all day, well, you don't know that. You don't know God is real. That's a belief. You don't know what I know. Only I do. If I ask you what your favorite color is and you say, oh, it's blue. And I'm like, you don't know that. <laughs> Does that make sense? No, because only you know your experiences in life. Only you know what you know, just like me. 
So I don't believe that God is real. I know God is real at this point, whether people believe that or not, that's the truth. Either way, I'm not gonna force you to do nothing. Whatever decisions you make in your life ain't none of my business, they got nothing to do with me. But if I didn't tell you about the danger, I would not be showing you love or compassion. I would be showing you that I didn't give a crap about you. And it's funny because this situation literally just happened. Our neighbor texted myself and my sisters and was like, uh, I just saw a snake in my yard. So just wanted to let y'all know for your own safety and for your pet safety. Our neighbor did that because they have love in their heart. This is how I show you that I love you. I have gotten bullied more for talking about God than I ever have in my life. Public school wasn't this bad. Like for real, I did not expect to have people straight up cussing me smooth out for doing these videos about God. And I've tried to do it respectfully. I don't know why I was shocked about that though. It literally says in the Bible, it talks about how spreading the word of God is difficult, it's not easy. Jesus is my example, he is the one that I want to be like. I am not required to convert anybody in order to secure my eternity. I have accepted that Jesus paid the wages of my sin on that cross when he was crucified. I love God and I love his son, Jesus Christ. And I try my best to live my life according to his word. I try my best. I already know where I'm going when I die, but what good is eternity in paradise if I have left a whole host of other people when I could have shared these things with you guys and you could have maybe made it too. What good is that? What really did I change? The afterlife is the most important part. We don't know how long we gonna get down here on this earth. I could die tomorrow. If I warn you of the danger that I know is waiting down there and you still choose to go in that direction, I'm not mad at you. I don't hate you. It don't even affect me. But if you end up in trouble, just know that I tried because I love you. So you can't be mad at me. You can't blame me. And guess who else you can't blame? God. Because I've heard so many people say, oh, I, I, no, I don't believe in God because he ain't never tried to show me no sort of sign. He's never tried to reveal himself to me or let me know that he cares or in any sort of way. I, I, I don't know. I ain't got nothing to work with here. Really, how'd you come in contact with this video? Did it pop up on your For You page or your home page randomly? Did a friend or a family member just happen to send it to you out of the blue? I'm sorry for all the noise in the background. I don't know what is happening over there. Somebody mowing a lawn. It sounds like somebody shooting off firecrackers in that direction. I don't know what's going on, but just excuse the noise. If you don't want to watch my videos talking about God, I love you just the same. But for the people that do want to hear it, these videos are going to be here. Because in this dark world we're in, I've noticed a pattern in what is being represented. People think that this stuff is just a game. There is a reason why you see people dressed up as Satan. Not just, you know, like Satan slipping himself in a little bit. No, full on visuals of Satan, people dressed as Satan, you know, dressed as a demon got upside down crosses all on their clothes or pentagrams on their clothes and people are just like oh that's funny it's you know we're making fun no there's a, there's a reason why the entertainment industry is doing that y'all they know good and doggone well that god exists they also know that satan exists they're just counting on the fact that y'all don't know that but either way the things that you take in that they're feeding you those things affect you whether you realize it in the moment or not they affect you that's why they do it entertainment industry it's about influence i'm not going to sacrifice the honesty in order to be politically correct i can say whatever i have to say with respect for all of you but i'm gonna say it and, and i'm gonna say it bluntly all right y'all bye